all right in this video we are going to uh, use this liquid molly uh, dpf cleaner this is for any kinds of uh, diesel dpf um, I'm using it on a Ram 1500 eco diesel truck this is a 2015 eco diesel and uh, so we're gonna have this uh, liquid here pump using a Home Depot uh, garden sprayer um, so I'm gonna shake this up and I'm gonna show you where we have open up the um, what do you call that the DPF injector yeah. yeah so I'm gonna show you where we are putting our hose in and we have uh, cut um, the tip of this sprayer so that it's just a uh, the hose itself all right I'm gonna show you that later also so this is the DPF right here and um, this is the DPF injector and all you do is remove this and it's gonna be an allen key it's gonna be this allen key right here all you do is unscrew it and it kind of clamps off it's gonna look like this right here gonna look just like that you unscrew the allen key all the way and you open up this clamp and then your DPF should come right off and watch out there's a little bit of a white material that falls out as you open it and take it off and this is where we're gonna spray uh, we're just gonna take so I'm just gonna route this sprayer okay. uh, it's the one with the open end we just cut off the end and we're just gonna stick it through here and aim it into the hole right here and just stick it in and it should be able to go in all the way about 10 inches you just have to wriggle it around get this fencer out of my way just wriggle it around and it'll get in there all right and now we're gonna start spraying all right pump it You ready? Yeah. Okay, let me uh, I'm going to pour it, okay? Okay. I forgot. I need to uh, open up the uh, that that back filter. I mean the sensor and then try to clean that up in hope that um, maybe it's just full of sud and the dealer is trying to charge me 800 bucks huh the one that I was at all the way the back after the DPF We finished the perch and uh, right now I just uh, turn on the uh, vehicle. Um, so what you want to do is just run it at neutral. Um, so the uh, transmission is at neutral, just leave it at idle. And you would want to watch for the temperature. Um, so that's the temperature right here. Right there. That's the temperature. And that's also the top one the temperature of the coolant this is the temperature of the coolant this is the temperature of the oil so you would want to wait until it gets to a normal temperature which is for mine the bottom one is slightly over half and then the top one is also at about half all right so just keep it on until it reach those um, 
areas and uh, we should be good to go um, oh sorry we're not good to go actually uh, if you have an OBD that can trigger uh, DPF regen then you go ahead and do that uh, by triggering a DPF regen as you drive so you have to be driving I'm going to go on a trip right now that would be uh, a few hundred miles of driving and I'm going to take advantage of that it's going to redo a regen somewhere it's, it's more than 300 miles that I'm going to be driving so it's going to do a regen somewhere there so I'm just going to count on it doing a regen then all right thank you for watching and I uh, hope you find this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.